Hi, my name is Selena, and I'm coming to you with a book haul. And this is going to be a mini book haul. I only bought four books, but yeah, bought books nonetheless. So I'm going to show them to you and get this started. I went to two places. I first went to a used bookstore, bought two books, and then I went to Barnes Noble and bought two more books. So I'm going to start with the used bookstore books first. Books, 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 books. So the used bookstore <laughs> books mm, that I bought are these. The first one was uh, City of Lights. There is the cover by Neil Neat Nite. I'm not quite sure. There's the author. There's a the title. I've never heard of this book, never heard of this author, but I was drawn to it because it was just so cluttered and busy. The cover I'm speaking of, it looked like a video game to me. Um, yeah, and the back is the same. It's just so bright, colorful, busy. I was very intrigued. I was drawn right to it. And yeah, so I bought the book because it, of the cover. I don't know, that doesn't make me sound too good, does it? I'm shallow, but whatever. Yeah, I think it's a murder mystery, but I know it takes place in England. I love England. There's a Union Jack on the back. Okay, so where's the Union Jack? Right there. You see it? Union Jack, London. Yeah, so I love England, love London. Um, been there twice. Loved it every time. So, yeah. I may read this book, I may not, but it's very pretty. And I will keep it because of the way it looks. The second book that I got at the used bookstore is this that everyone has already probably read except for me. It is Shiver by Maggie Steve Otter. And, uh, yeah, I have not read anything by her, but I keep hearing her name in the booktube community. I keep hearing her books mentioned in the booktube community. So I was like, you know what, it's high time for me to pick up a Maggie Steve Otter book. This just happened to be at the used bookstore, and it is a paperback edition of Shiver. So hopefully I'll be reading this, if not by the end of the year, early next year, definitely for sure. So yeah, I got this book at the used bookstore. So those are my two used bookstore buys. Now on to Barnes & Noble. I got another Maggie Steve Otter book just because I figured I needed to keep with the same author. And also I realized as a teacher I haven't read much with, you know, books with male lead characters in them. I have a few, but not a lot. And I that was a lack. That was something that I thought I should do better on. So I picked up this, The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Otter, and uh, from what I gather, the male characters are pretty strong male characters, and I'm hoping that when I read it, I have, you know, hopefully have something worthwhile to recommend to my male students. Uh, yeah, so that's a lack of mine. I'm going to have to, you know, keep working on that, finding good YA books to recommend to my male students. So, But this will be my first book to remedy that lack. And the last book that I bought at Barnes & Noble is a book for me. It is Austin Land. Austin Land by Shannon Hale. So it's hard to see the cover, but there's the title, Austin Land. It's the movie tie-in edition, which I don't really like, but that was all that they had at Barnes & Noble. And I, I'm not a patient person, so I'm an impulse buyer. If I see a book, I want it. I don't want to go home, order it, and then wait for it on Amazon. I don't pre-plan my book buying. So usually I go into the bookstore and whatever speaks to me then is what I pick up. But uh, this I had wanted to read for quite some time. Um, I knew the movie was coming out, but the movie didn't come out anywhere near me. So I didn't get to see it when it was out. It was out in New York City, but I was not going to spend 30 bucks to get on Metro North to go down to the city to spend yet another $10 to go see this movie. So I'm going to wait for it to come out on DVD. But in the meantime, I will be reading this book. It's not very thick. I've already started, and so I hope to finish this book soon, and then when the DVD comes out, I will watch the DVD. I am such an Austin fan. I love all things Austin. Yeah, I am a big fangirl when it comes to Austin, so. There was something going on in the BookTube community 
I think it was called the Austin Adventures. Ariel Bassett was doing it. I think. But I, I think they got up to maybe Mansfield Park and then stopped. But uh, yeah, I, I, I may just, you know, put myself in the mix in that. Even though no one's asked me to do it, I'm just going to do it because I like Austin. And uh, if anybody wants to join me, feel free. I love talking about Jane Austen. Her birthday's coming up December 16th, which is ironically very funny because it's my dad's birthday. I don't know if that's ironic, but it's funny because it's my father's birthday as well, December 16th. So, yeah, I get to celebrate two people's birthdays on the same day. Anyway, so that's my uh, book haul, my mini book haul, my four books. I got Austin Land, Raven Boys, Shiver, you can't see the cover, there we go, and The City of Tiny Lights. If you've read any of these books and want to share what you thought, please leave me comments down below. If you have any uh, any other comments, yeah, I guess you can leave them there too. Bye!